Dear students, from Dr. P. Sindhil Murugan, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Information Technology, Prakriti Institute of Technology and Science, Surangal. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about array concept in C language. What is the use of array? How to declare the array? How to use the array? These things we will discuss in this video lecture. So this is week 6, lecture 2. Classroom discussion topic 17. Okay. So in this classroom discussion topic, we are going to discuss about one dimensional array, how to declare the point and dimensional array. So these things we are going to discuss in this video lecture. So in this video lecture, end of this video lecture, what students will be able to, that is lecture outcome. So end of this video lecture, the students will be able to write a C program to using one dimensional array. Okay. So with the use of help of one dimensional array, the students will write the C program for their requirements. First, what is an array? Array is a fixed size sequenced collection of elements of the same data type. Okay. So array is a collection of similar data type. Array is a collection of similar data type and it will allocate the memory it will allocate the memory in the continuous manner okay so allocate the memory in continuous manner okay so then it's we define the size of the array in the beginning itself so the size also fixed okay so these three things we have to remember this similar data type collection of similar data type variables the memory will be allocated continuously and size is fixed so there is static data types okay so how it will work so example an array can be used to represent a list of numbers or list of names okay so example one two three four five so all are integer values. So the memory will be allocated continuously. Okay. So the array will be stored in continuous manner. The array will be represented using indexing numbers. That is array index. The array index normally starting with 0 up to n minus 1. So that means 5 elements are there. n equal to 5. 5 elements are there means the array index starting with 0, this is the array name. It is not common. So according to the array name, it will be there. But array indexing starting with 0 up to n minus 1. So this indexing is represent the memory location where the values are stored in the memory. Okay. So these are some examples for arrays. List of employees and organization. List of products and their cost sold by store. Test scores of a class students. So like the student mark sheet, uh, customer and the customer telephone numbers. And then daily rainfall data and so on. Whatever it may be. So the collection of similar data is considered the array. Okay. The data types can be classified into three categories, derived types, fundamental types, and user-defined types. So derived types are array, function, and pointers. Okay, so normally we know the fundamental types are integer, float, character. And the derived types are array, functions, and pointers. These three are derived data types. User-defined data types. User can define this data type that is considered as structures, unions and enumerations so these are the user defined data types so how array is used for example similar data structure we are saying so that means similar data type means it's a structured data type okay so example in this example you see so this is the mathematical equation summation of i will start with one and up to n the values i will be there 
How we can write? We can write like this. X of 1 plus X of 2 plus X of 3. Like up to X of N. So we are mentioned this I equal to starting with 1. And it is ending with N. Then the values of individual array is X. So it's like mathematical equation. We can use one dimensional array. Okay. So what is the syntax of array? The syntax of array should like what is syntax? Syntax means format. Okay. So syntax means format. Data type. So type of the array should be right. And array name. Any name you can give. Already we know how we can declare the variable. Same like that array name also. You can use the same method. Array name. So within the square bracket, you can mention the size of the array. Okay, so this is the declaration of one dimensional array. The data type should be there, array name should be there, size you can mention. This is maximum size. Maximum means the maximum variable. Okay. The array is accessed by an index. I already told how the index will be there. So it's like this. First element will be represented as numbers of zero. So the indexing starting with 0 up to n minus 1. So already we discussed with this. This is the diagrammatic representation how the array is accessed using indexing numbers. So lowest address correspond to the first element and highest address to the last element. Okay. The example, this is the index. So data type should be there, array name should be there and size of the array should be there. So examples, integer data type and number is the array name and the five numbers we can take. So how it will be assigned in the memory? Memory will be allocated in the continuous manner. Okay, so number of zero, the indexing starting with zero up to n minus one. So n equal to five, so n minus one equal to four. So the indexing starting with zero to four. Okay, so here it will be represented continuously in the memory. Okay, so this is called a single dimension array. The size of the array must be an integer constant greater than zero. Okay. So that means the data type can be valid C data type. We will declare this basic data types in the flow to character. So character array also is there. The character array is used for getting the value as strings. Okay, the collection of character is considered as the string. So whenever you want to use a string, you can use a character array. Okay. So now you know how to declare the array with the syntax and where we are using the array. Those things we are discussed in this video lecture. I hope I understood that you are able to understand what is array, how it is used, how to declare the array. Those things you are understood, I hope. So Having completed this discussion on array in C, now students should be able to write a C program to using one dimensional array. So now you know how to declare the array. So you have to declare the array, then how to use it. That you are able to perform in after this lecture. Okay, so example, you can write, print the roll numbers of the students of your class. Okay, so your class roll numbers may be starting with one up to so example 65, students are there means 1 to 65, you can print using array statement. How you can write it? Roll number of 60 students or 65 students, maximum you can write, okay? This is the declaration into roll number of 65. So C program to print the matrix. So how we can print the matrix values using array. So that you can practice using the lecture level problems. Okay. So I hope you are enjoyed this video. Even if you have doubt, you can refer the programming in NCC textbook authored by the E. Balaguru Swami sir. Okay. So you can read in the chapter seven as array. Even if you have doubt, you can refer the weekly tutorial sheet. Then still, if you have doubt, you can come with the doubt. We will discuss in the class. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope you are enjoyed this video. Thank you all.